All right, guys, we're gonna tackle the runner's knee problem, that big one. And also, for all of you runners who've dealt with any kind of pain in IT band on this outside part of your leg, we're gonna get in there too. And we're gonna use a foam roller for this one. This is one by Trigger Point. I'm a fan of it. Uh, but it doesn't have to be that one. It could be something else. It could be like a regular traditional foam roller you see in the gym. All of those are things that are going to work just for now. Now, as I roll, I'm going to show you some specific ways that we're going to attack our quad. Now, a lot of times when we roll, for those of you guys who have ever done it before, it's some sort of you know, self-massage, technically myofascial release, where we're trying to break up some adhesions that form in the fascia and the muscles and get blood flow in there and you know, more the way we kind of think about it and describe it is we get these little knots into uh, our muscles and we're just trying to iron out those knots out. And no amount of stretching is really going to do it, so we need that actual massage. Now a lot of the times when we foam roll, we go back and forth this way. And this isn't a bad way to go, but I'm going to show you that by actually going across friction, we're going to be able to be a lot more effective. Further, instead of just rolling the top part of our quad, we actually want to get into all different angles of our quads here. So I'm going to focus on not only going from my knee all the way up, but I'm going to go onto the outside edge, on this outside part of this quad. Now this is really key for our IT band. This is our vastus lateralis. This is usually what gets tight and literally gets stuck and adheres to the IT band. So a lot of times when we feel IT band pain, what we're really experiencing is a really stuck vastus lateralis, this outside part of the quad. So we're going to spend a lot of time here, and then finally we're going to actually get more onto the IT band, and this is going to allow us to hit different parts of the quad and even parts of the hamstring. Finally, I'm going to get on the inside part, back to this vastus medialis, this VMO, work in there too. And a lot of times if you're feeling pain around the knee through here, a lot of times it's these muscles that are tight and knotted up, and we just need to work them out. So I'm going to go through this. Uh, I'm going to do it uh, express real quick so you can see each side. And I'm just going to start here. I'm going to lay on my belly. This guy is going to be down here. And I'm just going to start by my knee. And I'm kind of lifting myself up so you can see. And what I want to do is kind of shake my leg back and forth. And I can show you sideways too. As opposed to just rolling back and forth this way, I want to get back and forth this way. And that's just going to get this cross friction uh, massage, this cross fiber work where I can, oh yeah, I find a little knot. If I find a knot, I can sink down a little bit deeper. I can kick my heel to my butt. And I literally just want to spend about two minutes working my way all the way from here all the way up to my hip. And once again, I'm not just rolling this way. I'm rolling back and forth this way. I kick this leg back and forth. The next thing I'm going to work on is just bringing my body over at an angle. Now notice I'm not all the way in my IT band, I'm just on this diagonal, this vastus lateralis, and now my hip, I'm at my hip, I can start to slowly work my way back towards my knee. Same thing, going back and forth, cross fiber, slowly working my way down towards my knee. I find a knot, I'm gonna spend a little time there and eventually make my way down. Finally, I can go all the way more into that IT band and I can capture just the outside edge of that vastus lateralis, that quad, and then I could roll all the way here and get into the hamstring a little bit too. So once again, back and forth, really powerful, and you may find that you're going to have different knots. Some knots are a little bit higher up, some are a little bit lower, so it's choose your own adventure a little bit. you got to figure it out, figure out what's real tight. Now, the next one we're going to do is this vastus meals, this inside part of the quad. And for those of you who are really feeling pain kind of in and around the knee, this like runner's knee issue, a lot of times it's this guy that gets really tight as just an extension of this groin and these adductors and into this vastus medialis. So we're going to spend some time just working in here. This is the way I like to do this. I'm going to put this at a slight angle. I'm going to get down here and I'm going to deliberately angle my leg out at a, at a little bit of an angle here. And from here what I can do is just start to go back and forth, work different aspects of the quad. If you can't see my face anymore, it doesn't matter. I just want you to focus on my leg. And once again, I can get into different areas of my quad here. Good. Letting me show you sideways again. I'm gonna put this at an angle. I'm gonna go here. I can start way up high in the hip and just kind of work my way through. I find a little knot, I can just go back and forth a little bit. Imagine you're giving yourself your own massage and go through. So about six minutes on the right side, 
wash, rinse, repeat on the left side. And even if you're only feeling pain on one knee, you don't want to just spend all your time there. You actually want to spend time on the other side. And you'll be surprised how tight your regular or healthy side is too, which really means it's just something is lurking just below the surface and we always want to get one step ahead. These little techniques that we're going to be working on to treat different areas in your body, this groin and these adductors, and into this vastus medialis. So we're going to spend some time just working in here. This is the way I like to do this. I'm going to put this at a slight angle. I'm going to get down here, and I'm going to deliberately angle my leg out at a, at a little bit.